In this video, I'm going to talk a lot about attacking short balls. And it's not so much a technical lesson, it's more of a mindset, more strategic than anything else. This is mostly in doubles or sometimes in singles if your opponent is charging the net after you get a short ball. Now, surprisingly, this drill is not for the volley. This is not for the net player. Uh, in the past, when I've done this drill, I used to think it was a drill for the net player, but it turns out it is so difficult for the baseliners of the person hitting the ground strokes to hit the ball to the person at the net. It is very unnatural, so you actually have to train. You have to practice this and do this over and over again until you get to a point where you're comfortable seeing somebody run forward and you still comfortably hit the ball to them. Now, your body language on this makes a big, big, big difference. If you look like you're scared or you look hesitant or look like you're not sure what to do with that short ball, that actually relaxes your opponent. And if your opponent gets relaxed, then they step in a little bit more and they hit better volleys and their body language will self will be a self-fulfilling prophecy on your part because you're like running in and like, oh, I'm not gonna hit it all because he's coming in and then you end up hitting a weak shot and then your opponent puts the ball away. And then when that happens, you're never gonna be comfortable dealing with those short balls again. So we have to go against the grain. We have to absolutely keep attacking the net player if they keep charging the net. We gotta get them uncomfortable coming to the net. Whether you win the point or not, it's beside the point. We gotta get our opponents uncomfortable charging the net. And after that happens, you can relax. And in this drill, watch how the boys are closing in very comfortably. And the second the girls start stepping in, you start seeing the boys back off a little bit. Last one. Go. 
Oh, my God. 